glad there's someone who actually appreciates some bloopers because there's not a video goes by, Jake, that I don't make a fool of myself in some form or fashion. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I am the great cornholio. That river dances. Who does river dancing? Oh, the cornholio river dance. Come back in here with me. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at there. That looks good. Man, I'm liking the way my arms and chest look in this thing, Jake. Hey, it's like what I Let's keep it here and above, guys. Just let's keep it, ladies, keep it from here and above. That's what I always say. Just flex your Because I've been told that a thousand times. Carl. Jake, can I use you as an example? Uh, yes. All right, so I'm going to keep it light. But, you know, Jake also struggles with depression. And uh, tell me where this, where did this come from? I don't know. Why us? The two guys that are all about comedy and laughter also have some of the darkest days here on Morrow Hill. You know, I, I heard this thing really, and I don't know why, but it said that the, the happiest people that you see are really the saddest. Like, the people that try to make everyone else happy are the saddest. Ha Chris Farley. Do you know Chris Robin Farley? Williams. Robin Williams. But wait, Chris Farley killed himself. So did Robin Williams. Did he kill himself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's, whenever Chris Farley died, and I heard that horrible news, and then, of course, with the, I think there was a suicide note, or there were people who just said he didn't have any friends. And I'm like, I would have been his friend. Yeah. I would have loved to have been yeah, his that friend. That's cool. I would have loved to hung out with that. That's Tommy Boy, right? That's Tommy Boy. Yeah. That. She's trying to teach, and I'm doing here doing the river dance. Oh. And I was just saying how our yeah. parents are so different. You like teach people, and I just want to hear everyone laugh. <laughs> All I want to do is make people laugh. And then Jake said, because the people who are the most unhappy on the inside appear to be the most bubbly on the outside. So while we're skipping, just know we're so depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is depression in action, people. Do -do 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 Go, Jamie, go. Teach. <laughs> Teach them something, Jamie. Okay, I have one thing to say, and I hope this comes out right, but I don't think it's going to. You people are crazy. You're just nuts. Every one of you just crazy, y'all. I'm going to pull the side-by-side -side around over here where Jake's working, and I'm gonna ask if it's okay if I do a gift and goodie while he works. Because that is, that's, a, that's an addition that I've never had before. A gift and goodie featuring Jake working in the background. Will you be okay if, huh? It'll be a Jake working edition as I do a gift and goodies. Would you mind if I pull my side by side over here and do my gift and goodies right here while you work in the background? Ah, uh, poor Jake, he works. So hard. <laughs> you know, I'm about to back up into a spot. Uh, let me find my reverse gear. There we go. Here I come, Jake. All right, we are back. Uh, Jake should actually be happy. I'm I'm wearing his shirt today. You know, Jake had a couple of these made up, and he gifted me one. Right. Shirtless Jake's Homestead on YouTube if you guys ever want to check out Jake's page. All right, so I'm going to get right to it. We have a lot of stuff, so I don't like to rush gifts and goodies because I don't think it does anyone justice when I rush through these things. Well, the very first box I opened is obviously not from any of you. Ah. Uh, and here's why I know that. Because these are candy necklaces. That means that Jamie would have bought these because every Friday I give a little treat to my kids on the bus for good behavior. So sorry about that, but uh, hey, one box down. All right, let me make sure I read the labeling this time. Now this over here says I'm a survivor, so this for sure is something from one of you. And I can already tell from the sound of it that these are animal crackers. And uh, we have two large containers now, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I said it before, darn it, there is no gift card or no gift receipt, so I don't know who sent it. So, thank you very much for those. Every animal we have, including Carl, our newest rescue, loves animal crackers. And so, that is a huge blessing to be able to give them a treat every once in a while or every day. And uh, I think that Jake would agree with me. The best use of animal crackers is to lure Carl out of one pasture to the other. 
We don't work with Carl. We don't work well together. No. So what we have to do is we have three separate pastures and they each have a gate where we can close off from one another. And so what we do is when we want to work in the back pasture, we'll call Carl to the front or the middle and then close the gate behind him. And all we have to do now is shake those crackers and Carl comes a running. He's perfect. Carl comes a running, Jake. And yeah, and that oh, right there. <laughs> Jake, what They're is this? I kid you. Oh, Listen, yeah. I'm not making this up. That says to I'm a survivor. It says it right there. And so I don't know who would have sent Oreos. But I, don't, I hope that you know that that's a weakness of mine. And I am trying my hardest to diet. Um, man. It says, enjoy your gift. Cookies are for you and your family. <sighs> I'm family cracked them back boys. From Bailey Middle State and Erica Baker. Got ladies, you're too kind. But Jake just now told you he's working out. I haven't talked about it a whole lot because I don't think it's obvious yet, but I am also working out. And so this is good. You know what? We are allowed a cheat day, aren't we? Aren't we allowed a cheat day here and there? Oh, that doesn't count for his cheat day. Alright, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. So even though the doctor said I need to lay off the whole milk and the sugars, uh, I am going to have a cheat day and I'm gonna make this and a big old glass of whole milk my cheat day. So thank you so very much. You don't have to do that, but uh, since you did, I just need to say thank you. And I just won't tell my doctor. He'll, he'll never know anything about this. You know, it's funny because I've always told myself that I'm gonna eat whatever I want, drink whatever I want, until the day a doctor tells me otherwise. And so what a shock that uh, I went into the doctor this past summer and I was told otherwise. He said, uh, need to watch it. And you know, of course he tells you all the things you can do and you can't do. Um, this is a flag. Now I am not certain, I have seen this before, and I remember this flag because I can't tell what's up and down. I, it's hard to tell if this is up or if this is up. I remember I did it wrong last time. I had hung them in the barn, you remember, and um, I had hung it upside down. And so a lot of people let me know right away that, how, that I was wrong on that one. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Louisiana flag. I believe it's something French. Um, so I think it's, do you know that in school, uh, we actually have, I think it's two or three years in school, in our public school curriculum, where they teach Texas history. Did you know that? Yeah. But think about it, this is crazy. A lot of states don't have a state history class. Or a state uh, flag. No, I think they all have a state flag, I'm pretty sure. but. So Texas is really, is really unique, along with several other states that have just the, this amazing history, enough to fill a, an entire curriculum. I'm sure all of your states are cool. Jake, at this point in my video, I'm gonna insert that song. It's that real dumb one from uh, the Budweiser commercial. Real men of genius. Oh, yeah. Mr. Too Proud of Your State flag wearer. What? Cause people do tattoos of Texas, they do. Uh -huh. I mean, you have koozies and you have shoes and you have belt buckles and Texas is a really proud state. Real man of genius. Today we salute you, Mr. Way Too Proud of Texas Guy. Mr. Way Too Proud of Texas Guy. Men from lesser states may know their state's capital, but you, you know your state's bird, tree, and even reptile. Love that horny toad. You display your pride with your Lone Star tattoo, native Texan bumper sticker, and contempt for any state that doesn't start with tax and end with is. That spells Texas. Sure, there are 49 other states in the union, but they're smaller, wussier, and the people talk funny. Yankee wussies. So crack open an ice cold Bud Light, oh lover of the Lone Star State, because all that flag waving must have made you mighty thirsty. Mr. Wade, you got a test. Bud Light beer at Isaac Bush, Houston, Texas. And uh, it's really neat the way Texas represents itself. And we do have a unique uh, and a very, very diverse culture and history here. And uh, if you don't know much about Texas history, 
Anyway, not to get off the subject, thank you so much for the flag. What kind of flag we, is that? I, I think it's Louisiana, but I'm not sure about that. And I said I'm not sure about that. Um, we used to display these in the other barn, in the Tex barn. But I had to stop doing that because the wasps were building nests back behind them. And, uh, boy, these they start flapping in the wind. And those wasps start coming out. And we were getting, uh, having to duck for cover all the time. So thank you for that. I wish I knew who had sent it. You know, Louisiana, along with several other states, had to go through that Hurricane Ida recently, and they were just devastated. That was a that was a tough one. Uh oh. So this is it's a little coin purse. It looks like with a little goat. Uh, there's of course some mealworms. If y'all haven't seen Le's most recent gifting goodie, he actually ate some of these, which was a shocker, because Le has not all. weren't weren't you equally shocked that he actually ate some of those? Yeah. It, it, it was his idea. At least not really one to do things like that. And I was just taken back when I was watching that video and he put a handful of these in his mouth. Um, so that was funny. So this over here, it looks like a, like a small diary or some kind of little journal. And uh, it says to Lester and Jamie. So I'll pass these on to Jamie and these are gonna go straight to the babies. And it, Everybody, I think you know this, every single one of our animals, the same way they love those animal crackers, they also equally love these meal ones. Thank you so much. And those are full of protein as well. So those are probably a little bit better and healthier for the babies. I don't see, no, I did drop a few things here. Here we go. Um, I love your bloopers from Cheryl, Brendan, and the Steel Dim Puppy, Charlie from Cheryl. Thank you so much, Cheryl. We appreciate that. But uh, here's the way I here's the way I say it. You know what? I hope that you laugh. I hope that you have learned to laugh from the videos because I'm not gonna ever be the kind of guy who can teach you much about farming and farm life. Even though we do hobby farming, that's not really, I, I'm not, how do I say this the right way? I'm not someone that you want to learn the how-tos from. But it was cute what my boss said. She came out to visit recently. You know, I worked with her for so many years, and we're still friends. And she actually sits on the board of our nonprofit. We actually have a very distinguished board for a nonprofit. I tell you what, we got three doctors, y'all. We have a veterinarian doctor, we have a doctor of education, and a medical doctor, uh, along with my, my brother. Uncle Dan, Jake's dad, uh, myself, and Jamie. We have a really special board. Uh, well, half of our board is really special, the doctors. And uh, <laughs> they have to approve the monies that get spent around here. And so, um, I don't know where I was going with this, Jake. Oh, I was saying God. something about my boss. So, my boss told me that, uh, that they, you know, education in general is going to miss me. I was a really good teacher. And I, I'm not bragging or anything, but it's true. I really loved teaching. And she gave me the most amazing compliment. She says, education is going to miss you as a teacher. She goes, but look what you're doing now. Now you're teaching to millions. And that made me cry. That made me cry. I'm sitting here in front of my boss, and it's not the first time she's seen me cry. And I, I couldn't really comprehend what she was saying. And so she, of course, she has to elaborate on everything. She rambles more than I do. And she was talking about how now, look how many people come to the page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, and, and I was like, they don't come to learn to this page. I'm not teaching. And she says, but you have, she goes, let's talk about your audience and how much of an impact you're having now. Instead of an impact of having, you know, let's just say a um, couple of hundred kids every year, now you're able to impact hundreds of thousands of people on a day-by-day -day basis. And that just really overwhelmed me to hear that from her. And, uh, but, it, but it's true, I, 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 I hope it's for the best. I hope it's a positive impact that I'm having on you. But I, if, if anything else, just learn to laugh, folks. There's too much negative in the world to ever let stuff like that consume you. And so we do a lot of stuff for fun and for the bloopers or whatever else. It's just for fun, just enjoy and laugh along with us. We're gonna record it. 
Jake and I uh, are similar in that we, we try to bring out lots of laughs from you. It's funny, Jake, if you think about it, how similar our pages are because that's our, our personalities. Yeah. Jamie and, and L.D. and my dad, I think, are more educational. Would you agree with that? I would say L.E. for sure. L.E. Ellie likes to teach. L.E. is a teacher. It's a fact, and it's like he knows it for sure. L.E. Like, is mathematical. Research. If you don't know this about L.E., L.E. is mathematical. He has to, numbers, or just his mind is consumed with numbers. And he's, he's a matter of fact and points out he doesn't forget anything. Jamie's a, very similar. Jamie is more of the type of page that there, she, there is some humor, but there's a whole lot of she likes to teach as she's learning. She, she learns and teaches what she's learning as she goes along. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to teach you anything. Just I want it to just be for pure entertainment. This over here is not for the sanctuary. This is a trash can that Jamie ordered for the Barn Dominion. So I'll put that here aside. All right, let's get back to it. I wonder how much time I've wasted already, Jake. Oh, I think you wasted any time. Oh, Jake said there's been no waste of time yet. No waste of time. So this here comes from Shirley, and I can't really read her last name, but she's in Texas, and this is heavy. I don't know what she's putting this thing, but it says to Lester Morrow, and I'm a survivor. So it's for me. What in the world? This is this is neat. Seed and millworm. Jake, this looks like the like something you'd see like in a bird's cage. And so I bet you that's something that she thinks Carl may really dig. Oh wow. And there's several of those. And then there's a shirt. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> do you know about this restaurant? El Arroyo. El Arroyo. Y'all say that with me. Everybody ready? Jake, ready? El Arroyo. El Arroyo. You gotta roll I those can't R's. Do it. I don't know how. When you see two R's, guys, in Spanish, it sounds like a There you go. El Arroyo. And then um, they have the neatest little sayings. And this restaurant here is known for having the funniest things. And so this over here is a little sticker thing, and you can flip it open and read different sayings that El Arroyo have posted. They, uh, you can actually go to YouTube or maybe even Facebook and find their page, and they have the funniest little expressions. And then, if that's not enough, she sends me a shirt, and look who's on it. That would be Carl. Jake, I'm sorry, buddy. No, I cannot be trumped right nope, now. No, you you're going to be trumped by Carl. And I would say, Jake, if there's anybody who's worthy of trumping you, it has to be, you can allow it to be Carl. Look at there. That looks good. Man, I'm liking the way my arms and chest look in this thing, Jake. Hey, it's like what I Let's keep you... it here and above, guys. Just, let's keep it, ladies, keep it from here and above. That's what I always say. Just flex your Because I've been told that a thousand times. Carl will peck. Come over here and look at it and do that in the video, Jake. Jake, can well, I show y'all? I have to and put it on because, you know, if I flex my peck like that, Carl will start going boop. Here, I'll tell you what. You can put this one over here on. She said another oh. one. And this one over here. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. It says for Sister Kim. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will make sure Sister Kim gets this. Thank you so very much. I tell you what. These are going to be neat. I will enjoy watching Carl take a shot at eating these. I'm going to put them here to the side. Oh, there's a note. I'm glad I found this. Lester, your care and love for animals touches my heart. Your videos give me hours of joy. I relate to your depression. It's so frustrating because no matter how good our life is, depression is still there to grab us and take us down. Your videos keep that at bay. Thank you for that. A fan, Shirley. And, uh, you know... Jake, can I use you as an example? Uh, yes. All right, so I'm going to keep it light. But, you know, Jake also struggles with depression. And uh, tell me where this, where did this come from? I don't know. Why us? The two guys that are all about comedy and laughter also have some of the darkest days here on Morrow Hill. You know, I, I heard this thing really, and I don't know why, but it said that the, the happiest people that you see are really the saddest. Like, the people that try to make everyone else happy are the saddest. Chris Farley. Did you know Chris Robin Farley? Robin Williams. Robin Williams. But wait, Chris Farley killed himself. So did Robin Williams. Did he kill himself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's, whenever Chris Farley died and I heard that horrible news, 
And then, of course, with the, I think there was a suicide note, or there were people who just said he didn't have any friends. And I'm like, I would have been his friend. Yeah. I would have loved to have been yeah, his that friend. That's cool. I would have loved to hung out with that. That's Tommy Boy, right? That's Tommy Boy. Yeah. Man, I would have been his friend. And I know that, uh, but there are, I mean, look, I'm not trying to get into your personal. I don't know how much you've talked about this on in your page. None, but here we are. We're all right. Making nice. Um, I have felt friendless at times. Mm -hmm. I have felt like a lot of people are acquaintances, but uh, I don't really have any friend friends. And uh, I remember after Hurricane Harvey, when it became obvious that the guys who I'd been calling friends for years were nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be found, just completely, I was, since I had nothing to offer, they were gone. And then watching your dad over there have just a couple, couple of guys just get coming back over and over. And I was like, what, what's, so, yeah, what's wrong with too. me? What have I done? to make everyone, oh, and Lester has nothing to offer. Then, and I'm thinking, I feel like me and Daniel, Jake's dad, have lived parallel lives. I think we have the same, you know, to offer. We've always hosted and done things for people. And yet, whenever Dan lost his home, people just came flooding to him. And I'm sitting here trying to, well, rebuild whatever things I could alone. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. No. But I am thinking to myself, being well, lonely. Well, like during Harvey, I had one friend call me and bring me a, a trash bag of clothes. And that's the only thing. I'll tell you what, Harvey taught us a lot of lessons. Uh, it's opened my eyes to a lot of things. But I'm so sorry you deal with that. And I know that Jake and I both, you know, we're off and on medications for that. We have been for years. And I sometimes wonder why us? But that's interesting, Jake, that sometimes some of the most happy-go-lucky people are the ones who are really suffering and struggling the most. I don't know. But thank you for the shirts, and I will pass that on to Sister Kim. Poor Jake. He wanted a shirt so bad. I know. <laughs> Nobody ever gets me shirts. What a size medium. He says he wears a size medium, FYI. This here just comes from Strickland. Just straight up Strickland. And I'm sure that's someone's last name. Uh, and it's, it actually comes to I'm a Survivor, Lester and Pig Newton. Jake, what do you want to bet this is a shirt? A shirt? It's going to be a shirt because I can got, feel it. You got two shirts in the same video. People. So bad. It is, Jake. It is. What I, size is it? I, I don't know, but it's for me. It says, Dear Pig Newton, oh, you can let Dad read this. We know how much you miss your bestie, Journey, so we want you to know that we are missing her, too. Tell Daddy Lester to wear this shirt proudly because we know he loves all of the animals, but he has a special spot for all the baby piggies. I hope I haven't made that too obvious. Lester, this is just a small token of a thank you for all the entertainment you provide. Remember, always, and they put in quote, you do you no matter what anyone says we love you for that p.s my husband brought home this shirt and said it had lester all over it that's neat let's see what her husband found <laughs> i like pig butts and i oh cannot lie <laughs> that's awesome yes let's throw it on oh sorry carl you're about to be trumped by pig newton why hey, are you gonna walk out here wearing 30 shirts? It's hot. No, no, it's not hot. That's how blessed we are. This morning when I woke up, Jake, it was 65 degrees. I like pig butts and I cannot lie. It was 65 degrees. Now it's warmed up since then. But uh man. You woke up a lot earlier than what I do. That's true. Jake said, well, you wake up a lot earlier than I do. This is from Chrissy and Kevin Strickland. Um, thank you so much. Jake, it yeah. says I love you, Jamie. Ellie and Jake, too. Your All name right. is on here. But I'm not letting him wear my shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Strickland family. I appreciate that. That's really special. Uh, we're moving along pretty fast. Uh, man, this is not going to be a third shirt, Jake. No, it's not. It's from Cheryl Miller, and it says to Lester and Jamie. Now, I'm not sharing a shirt with Jamie either. I'm not going to share no. one with Jake. I'm not going to share one with Jamie. It, it might, oh, it is a shirt. Boy. Y'all have to stop doing it. got a new wardrobe in 30 seconds. <laughs> Look at this. 
Oh, no. And speak of the devil, look who's walking out here. Come on over here. This is to both of us. I'll let you wear it. Oh, I got one for both of us, too. Uh, here, put this on and come stand in my video while I read this. All right, here we go. Jay, we don't want to mess up her hair. I am the great Cornholio. No, you have to wear it like Cornholio. Like Beavis and Butthead were there. Put your hair down. Put this higher. Raise it up. There you go. Now put your hand over here. All right, now say. <laughs> no. everywhere. I am the great corn. You got to tremble. I am it's the great cornholio. <laughs> I am the great cornholio. Say it. It's falling. That's what I'm telling you. Say I am the great cornholio. Is that better? <laughs> Please. Okay. All right, your letter because I got a funny gift. Oh, a funny gift. Okay. Hey, Lester and Jamie. I saw this t-shirt and knew I had to get it to you. I laughed so hard. I love the things you, uh, the turkey you named cornholio. I watched Beavis and Butthead back in the days, okay? And uh, I love what you and Jamie do for all the animals and how you love and care for them. Uh, I love all your videos. Thank you for sharing them with us. Uh, you are a true blessing. I can't leave Jamie out. So here is, I wasn't gonna talk about this because this here was a stuck in the envelope. Oh. That's for you. Oh. Now you say it then because people are tired of me saying it. Don't do this. Don't do this. Nope. Because what it's going to go by for me is chicken treats probably. <laughs> well, it says tell her to go buy herself something. I like So uh, I like, chicken treats it is. Yep, that's going to be great. Um, and then uh, I just want to say, Cheryl, thank you for the shirt and uh, thank you for the letter. But I'm going to have to get on to you. I'm going to have to get on to you. Jamie was not hard enough on you. I'm going, to, I'm going to be hard. Get ready. You might want to plug your ears, Cheryl. Huh? I'm going to need some help. Oh, no. We're about to have a real-life rescue. Hold on. I'm going to have to video oh, this. I take off this shirt. I don't want to get it messed up. Uh, so, Ellie's little turkey. Hold on. Hold on. Ellie's little chicken. Uh, is it Skippy? Yeah. It's Skippy. Has got himself. Yeah, his rooster has caught himself up in some string. Skip. Now, if it, his skipping wasn't bad enough, now you really get him, Jake. <laughs> Maggie. So Jake's having a little bit of a hard time with the with the rooster. Bring him over here so we can see Jake. I got a box cutter. Oh my god! Jake is sweating uh, right now. Whoo! He okay. almost got me. For over real. here, Jake. Over here. I I need help. All right, hold on. Okay. You All started right. the chicken mafia, dude. You yeah, that? they're gonna come get me for this. <laughs> So this okay, is a little bit of an issue. Thank you, Jake. This is right, Skippy. And uh, y'all know that he's had a couple of foot issues. Now, they are getting so much better. If you saw Ellie and Jamie's video from when we first got him, what do you call that? Bumblefoot? Yeah, he's got bumblefoot. Man, he was bumblefooted up. I mean, some huge blisters on there. But uh, he's still skipping around. But this is funny, <laughs> and this is not funny. He skips because that's what he's used to do. Well, yeah, so his bumblefoot is almost completely gone. But he's this is how he walks. But... He had it probably for so. What does that remind you of, Jamie? River dance. That's skipping. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what. I don't even know where this is going. <laughs> well, like I said, for, she would hear. Jake, did you hear that? She's trying to teach, and I'm doing here doing the river dance. Oh. And I was just saying how our yeah. parents are so different. You like teach people, and I just want to hear everyone laugh. <laughs> All I want to do is make people laugh. And then Jake said, because the people who are the most unhappy on the inside appear to be the most bubbly on the outside. So while we're skipping just now, we're so depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is depression in action, people. Go, Jamie, go. Teach. <laughs> teach them something, Jamie. Here's what I'm going to teach. Wait till you see what's in this box here, River Dancer. Come back. You're going to hurt your knee, and I'm going to have to rub it all night. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have your brace on. You're doing this. I... Oh, I'm depressed. Look at me. I made myself blush. That's some serious depression right there. That was a workout is what it is. <laughs> All right, you want to box that? No, I already opened it. So I'm inside, and this one just said to Jamie. You ever do something so dumb and make yourself laugh? Go ahead. And I thought that it was something I ordered. I did not order this, for the record. Open it. Wait, it said to Jamie. Yeah, it said, it said to me. 
What in? <laughs> this is a this is a Carl puppet mask, Jake. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We are gonna have some fun with open this. Open his mouth. Can you open his mouth? Yeah, of course. Oh. You know what? Not in this video though. It has to be a separate video. See, Jamie. Now put your arm straight up. You can't see it, but. Yeah. But why Why you, Jamie? Why did they send this to you and not Jake or Now me? you gotta go <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Here, get big, Jamie. <laughs> Carl doesn't bother me. No, Carl doesn't bother Jamie at all. Not a bit. Carl does not bother her, not one bit. You know, he already likes you, so if you wear that out there, you might really be in some danger. <laughs> I wanna make it smile. Is that possible? <laughs> Carl does smile. There you go, yeah, that's a smile. A little bit is a smile. Right there. A little bit of smile. Oh, his head's a little crushed in. There we go. Okay, now we're better. That's awesome. That's Who awesome. said that? Do you have a name on that? No. No name? Nothing. No name. It was just a box and it said to Jamie. Or it said Jamie on it. So, anyway, I saw you were out here making a video and I thought that I would crash I'm it. glad you came when you did. Where's that 20? I just gave it to you. <laughs> you give it back to me? Yes, it's in your pocket. I watched you put it in your pocket. Oh, I told here. you. Go, I told you. Go buy your chicken treats. And she doesn't mean chicken that we're gonna eat. She means stuff for her chickens. Oh dang, I was so excited. No, Jake thought we were getting Jake. chicken for lunch. Jake, no, that's horrible. They make these little things that look like corn on the cob and it's really like pressed like seed and they like to peck at that. I am the great cornholio. That river dances. Who does river dancing? Oh, the cornholio river dance. Come back in here with me. This is awesome for real. <laughs> I don't know why in every video you're trying to make us either sing or dance. Earlier you'd stop me and try to tell me to sing some other song too. <laughs> I don't know. Because he just likes us to look as ridiculous as he is. Okay? <laughs> he doesn't want to do it alone. That's exactly what it is. All right. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I got a few more things to go here, folks. All right, I'm going back. Bear there. with me. I'm going back. This here has your name on it. You want to stay for a minute? Jamie's working. We also have Jake who's over here working. And then and Lester's uh, river dancing. <laughs> no one is shocked. There's a lot of stuff in this back package. Here, get the letter out of there. Uh, oh, cool. This is a Scottish flag. I'm pretty sure I got a Wait, Scottish dish towel too. Is this actually a customs? <laughs> I love when people send stuff from overseas. Look, they had to go through customs and everything. Hi, Lester, Jamie, and Ali. Love watching your videos of all your animals. Love their antics. My favorite is Ringo, as he is a character. Yes, he is. You're all doing such a good job and have a fantastic program. Have joined your fan club to keep in touch Jane, with everything. What's up and down this slide? What is, is it? it? That is you all get up to. Stay what's up safe. and down? Love, Carol. I don't know. I don't think it matters. <laughs> ridiculous. Carol, thank you so much. Well, check this out. I got a cool Scottish dish towel. You're going to start wearing flags too now? Oh, I thought it was going to be a kilt at first, but is that not Scotland? It's Ireland, right? That's Ireland, I think. Ah. No, wait. So that's no, it's Scotland. That's Scotland. Look, it's on here. It's on here. Look. Oh, there's a kilt. Come on, Jake. You get to wear the kilt. Oh, oh been around sweet my way. Lord. Hold on. There's another flag you can put on that's as your kilt. That's not really a kilt. <laughs> Hold on. How's it go? Did you all drink your breakfast this morning? No, Jamie, we're just depressed. Sheesh, woman. Now, okay. do you have any idea where that's from? It says Scotland flag. No, that was a Scotland flag. Well, maybe this is from, like, back in the day. Well, I'll tell you what, I would not jack with any army with that flag like that, because just imagine that flag and people coming at you wearing kilts, right? Our flag doesn't look like that. That's awesome. Thank you. What, Jake? No, no. I, I um. I appreciate that. Yeah, you should be afraid, Jake. <laughs> yeah. Um, I tell you what. Thank it's, you very um, much. And I don't think it's cheap to send stuff overseas. No. When you got to go through all that and pay for all the custom stuff and all that, just anyway. I, we appreciate you. Uh oh, this would be a sign of some sort. All right. Oh boy. Property patrolled by Carl. The pantless thunder goose. Enter at your own <laughs> risk. 
the he doesn't pants. advance. <laughs> he does look naked underneath there. He does, but he, you know, and he's not lost feathers. Uh, no, he's just naturally. They just don't grow feathers he's there. He's got naked legs. He has naked legs. Boy, there's some nice legs. Have you seen the way Jan looks at him? Uh, I've seen the way that Jan chases him, and I don't think there's a uh, the name of a there's not a uh, a, res a, a a name to go a along person. with this a person. So. Thank you so much, and I'm gonna have fun putting that out on his fence a little bit later. We'll make sure we carry the little ostrich head with us so he knows it's that we're safe. I don't really know how to open this one here, Jamie. This is not really one that's I feel like I'm gonna get an elbow hasn't face. opened. There's not like a, oh my goodness, Carl is really coming. Look at that, ostrich crossing. Oh Boy, Carl God. is coming out big today. Carl, this should be the Carl edition oh, hat. I'm sure that he's going to be excited about it. I was going to call this the Working Jake Puppet. edition. Uh, yeah, so I appreciate this. It says to I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, hashtag, hey Carl. But uh, there's not a name of who sent it. So I don't, I don't know who to say thank you to. So I'll just hold it up and say thank you so very much. And sometimes when people order stuff online, they don't give them the option yeah. of saying who it's, who it's from. So that's a, that's a shame, but it's always nice to still tell somebody thank you personally. So I can go to work now? I'm, I got I'm one, two, three, four, five. We got five more. Then here is for Jamie only. So we'll let Jamie open it while she's here, and then she has to get back to work. Where's that box cutter, love? Right here. Actually, seven more. I see two more shirts. Jake, I'm so sorry. Four, wow. But there's two oh, more shirts. Uh-oh. Read it. I'm gonna cry. Oh no. Why'd you do this? You knew? No, I did not know. What? That I was gonna be a crier? <sighs> Jamie, you're a... <laughs> I can't even read it. <clears throat> I'm struggling right now. Why? Because it's very sweet. I know, but what's going on in your personal life to have you all in the fields? Jamie, you're a delight in the lives of thousands. You're a beautiful, loving, intelligent woman. We, Lester the Animals, and your audience are so, so fortunate to have you. Hope this gift keeps you dry, you dry during those few Texas rainy days. From down south in Austin, Shirley. What a great name, Shirley. We love the name Shirley. Okay, so that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Is that a hummingbird? It is a hummingbird, but it's also a thermometer. Did you Why? know it's 70 degrees outside? Did y'all hear that? 70 degrees. And Jake said, it's hot. Man, it's hot. Look it's so me. hot. It is well, you're hot. working. This is I got a poncho. Aw. Oh, my goodness, Jamie. They're beautiful. Seriously? Oh, goodness. Look at I those love things. them. <laughs> I love them. Those are awesome. Oh boy, I see a future video coming up featuring Man. Jamie and her in her new boots. Do you call these in? I know for us we call them rubber boots. Don't they call them like galoshes or something like that? And and like. I think they call them rubbers, Jamie. Rubbers, yes. They call them rubbers. Those are awesome. I'm gonna follow them. I'm trying them on. Oh, hold on the shoulder. Hold on, I got. That was very nice, Shirley. Thank you very much. Me and Jake may have to share our pills with Jamie, it looks like. Man, there's something else for Jamie. Well, how did you know to walk out here when you did? I normally would have just saved this and had her open it later. But uh, since she's here, if she has time, you have any more time? Five more minutes, look. Can y'all, okay, river dance. I can't river dance, just but it's tied together. Okay, put your hands. I also can't like, Put your hands to the side like this. Like, ready? Now just, just do one foot first. Just do one foot like this. You want me to, oh, you know just I worked out foot. today, right? All right, now you guys, <laughs> Wait, that's all you're doing? I'm going two and two and two and two. Now I'm gonna go one and one. Now I'm gonna add some music, ready? No! <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! Come on, open this gift over My, here. Like this? No! That's some kind of a Woodstock hippie thing. 
Here. Just call me a hippie then, that's fine. That was, I, don't, I don't know what kind of dance that you're doing. That was not a river, river dance. Oh my gosh, look! Chicken treats! <laughs> oh, 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 Jake. Jamie only on both sides so that there's no mm. mistake. But this is to Cornholio and Janky Jan. This package is. Well, you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Janky right. Jan probably can. She might can. Janky Jan was the project. Okay. Dear Cornholio, there once was a time in my life feathered animals scared the daylights out of me. Me too. <laughs> A friend of mine had parrots, chickens, and peacocks, and while I was always gung-ho to help out around the farm and house the birds, uh, and house, the birds were always a chore that terrified me, and I tried to get out of it. Then, a poor broken pigeon needed help, oh. and my friend left town, so here I was with all of her animals and a pigeon who needed round-the-clock care. I fell in love with that pigeon, and she became my best friend. Every, I'm gonna cry about that, too. What's wrong, baby? Every time I see you in the videos, I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Hey, I don't I, know. I, I am your real friend. You know I'm your real friend. I know you're my best friend. All right, I'm your best friend. Go ahead, keep reading. This is Cornholio's letter. This isn't to me. I know. I don't know one. if you're just the sweetest turkey in the world or if you really want to make sure you get your camera time. Either way, I love seeing you, you silly turkey. So I feel bad for your new janky girlfriend is going after another man. So someone has for him as <laughs> scorned holio. Yes, that's true. Scorned holio. That's sad. And she said, try as I might, I couldn't find any turkey treats, but I hope this will do. Take this food and go on a dinner date with your janky Jan and win her heart like you've won so many of ours. Oh, that's from Tracy Knight. This is P.S. Hello, Lester and family. Oh, well, thank you for thinking that about us. That was super cute. Cornholio does need some tips on how to win that girl back over. Because, boy, she has she has some love goggles for that Carl. Yep, that's for sure. Any girl that treats you like that, you can let her walk. Let her, wa let her, let her go. <laughs> wow. Me, me Jason, just let her go. Well, I say any man that treats you like that, you should let Ooh. him walk. Yeah. All right. You two want to play the gang up gang. You asked me to stay. All right, well, you're going to stay it now. <laughs> you're done, Jamie. You're done. I just got the boot is what you're telling me. All right, here we go. Now, this over here. Oh, this is. Oh, uh, cool. This is a sprinkler. Guys, I was going to bring you a future video um, featuring our brand new, the biggest blessing that we have probably received thus far in water. Water. Um and I will still make that video, but I want to tell you that for the longest time, if we'd ever received anything like this or anything, anything to do with water for the babies, we really have just kind of stored this stuff away because we have not had the well, uh, the ability to use water like that. We have had so many issues with our water well. And just this week, uh, we started last week, it's taken some time, different processes we had to do with the electricity and plumbing and of course drilling and we just now have a brand new water well my other one is 25 years old and so we've had 13 breakdowns since hurricane harvey just from the stuff and so we finally got us a new one and now we can do things with stuff like this again so thank you very much jake made a video yesterday or at least i saw him videoing it i don't know if he's uploaded Wait, it yet did you run in the sprinkler yesterday no he like put he set the sprinkler up for carl and oh. carl loves the sprinkler Carl laid down in the sprinkler and just like, yeah. Well, all I picture, so huh? all I picture is Jake with a sprinkler like that, like in Billy Madison when he goes and sits on the sprinkler and he's like, yeah. Oh my Do you remember gosh. that? Why? All That's right. the first thing you think of. Because I just picture you, you're complaining about how hot it is. So. Hi, Marl family. I love watching your videos. I've noticed in some of your the most recent videos, Annie and Ernie like to hang out in the water area with their feet in the water buckets. And they Facts. do. Jamie loves that. She loves doing it. That's kind of part of her routine around here, the midday water down. And um, anyway, so they have sent us a sprinkler That's we can set awesome. up. That's awesome. This is from Kelly Freeburn in Tucson, Arizona. So thank you very much. And this is gonna come in really handy, especially now that we can, we can actually have water uh, things set up for the babies. All right, we are down to the last five. One, two, three, four, five. And I see that one of them over here is for Jamie, so I'll let her go ahead and do that one. Why are there so many packages for me? Well, I was gonna put the Jamie's aside. Do you have time for this? I have two minutes. I was gonna put these Jamie ones aside and let her do a, her own version, get some goodies. But uh, while she's here, we'll just 
take this as my lunch. We'll just go ahead and take this as her. This is her I lunch break. I won't eat lunch then today. <laughs> I am not going. Okay. All right. This is Jamie. Open first. Uh oh. I love instructions. Oh, look, you're included. Hi, Lester and Jamie. I love watching you. Oh, look, I included. sent a book on. What is it? Oh, on donkeys, and she sent animal crackers. Love the way you talk to your babies. Aw, and your laughter brightens up my day. She has PTSD and depression, and her health is not good. And she's in pain all the time but she does her best to make the day better and loves to watch our videos. She's from Virginia. And this is a gift for you, Jamie. I saw this at Kohl's and thought of you. Love, Debbie. What is it? I don't know. But it, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry for... I just for like, feel the, terrible that somebody goes through all of that. And yeah, then, no one likes to deal with pain. And then in doing all of that and trying to cope with all their own stuff, they're out and they see something and think of me. And I just... Yeah, I'm that's so why... I'm humbled and... It is very humbling. Uh, before you open it, I got a question. What's your question? So I just got put up all the horses' water. Are we allowed to use that well yet? Aww. That, that hose. Do you use that hose to do it? I'll dump it all out. I'll I dump. love that. Look, as a little goat. That's what we have to do this year is set up hay bales and pumpkins. And well, it's almost that time of year. I know. It's so close. That's so thoughtful. That looks like our Brady out there. It does look like our Brady. Thank we're really you, we're really blessed that we're able to give you an escape. And it sounds like you watch a lot of Jamie's videos. And that's awesome that you can find something to take your mind off what you're going through. And we, and we do feel bad for you. That's one thing that as much as we sometimes find ourselves complaining and belly aching about this and that, none of us deal with pain. Uh, I, my dad has his, has his knee issues. I have my little knee issues, but it's not like we deal with like a constant it's nagging. Not, it's like, not debilitating. It's not, yeah. Well, we're still able to sleep at night and for the most part. It may get good, guys. It may, it, if, you're, if you have not had enough yet, just hold on because it may get even better. This is for pebbles. And look, Pebbles got her very own collar. That's cute. I don't know if there's a return address on this. There is something in here. Nope, that's just, darn it. So, Pebbles, Pebbles Morrow, that would be our Pebbles. And she has her very own collar. And so I will put this on her in a few minutes. Pebbles has never had a collar, has she? Pebbles has never had her own collar. Maybe when she was younger, but I can't remember her wearing a collar. But she has one now. Thank you very much. All right. Here we go. Now, this is funny. And it's also not funny. It says, Lester, please message me when you get this. Either on Facebook Messenger or through Facebook. And I really can't do that. Um, I hope that you'll watch the videos and you're not just going to wait until I message you first. <laughs> Hey, Carl. Oh, Carl. Oh, Carl. What's wrong? I hear Jamie and Jake shouting back and forth about something. Thank you, Madeline, for this. I talked to Madeline quite a bit. We messaged back and forth. That's why she said, let her know. And so I'll do that. But uh, I, I can't, though, take time to personally message everybody who sends a gift. I hope that the gifting goodies video does that justice. I'll go ahead and say this real fast. And I, I told this to Jake yesterday. Come over here with me, Jake. All right. Yesterday I was very bothered when I walked outside. I had told Jake that I just read some emails and a lady had sent an email saying that she was very upset that we did not mention her name uh, for the donation that she had sent. And uh, so, so I, I don't really know your, I don't think you ever told me how you felt about this, but it, but it bothered me. Two things bothered me. Um, number one, well, first of all, we've never, never, ever, ever asked you for money, ever. That's what I was about to start with. Yeah, we've never asked you for money. Let, let, not, don't get me wrong. 
it was your monies from those that donate to the page that built this barn behind me. Uh, it was your monies that helped us with the well. Uh, it was your monies that helped us with the ponds, all three of the ponds and the berm. But guys, I hope that anyone that does give, if you're in a position and, and you feel like you wanna share a blessing, a financial blessing, I hope that you never do it just to hear your name in a video or, or, or something like that. Um, we have several people that support the page financially, either through Facebook, uh, supporter page, or those that send a donation through the, the, the www.imsurvivor.com. And we're so very blessed for that. But I hope that you, in your giving, you give, uh, what's the right word I'm looking for? You give, uh, not un, looking for something to, or something like that. Yeah, I just want, I'd rather you, if you're not, if you don't want to give without expecting something, I'd rather you not give. I'd rather you give to somebody else. Seriously, I don't mean that in a mean way. Is that, is that coming out wrong? No. Anyway, I know Jake feels the same way. It, it's, it's a blessing when you receive something. Don't think that we're, we're ever not going to put that to, to amazing use. And these animals are living their best lives because of you guys. Here we go. Woo! This is from Shannon in Frankfort, Indiana. Dear Morrow family and babies, I hope you're all doing well. I enjoy watching your videos. In the last few years, I have lost my mom, my dad, my sister, and my husband. And I found my uncle deceased in his home. I had to tell his 92-year-old mother he was gone. Um, I'll tell you what, sometimes I don't know if people want me to share the, their, the, some of their stories. But I'm just going to paraphrase this and say that uh, she says that through all that she's had to deal with, uh, the videos have helped her a whole lot, make it from one day to the next. She talks about her favorites, of course, Journey won her heart, and how hard it was when she passed. Anyway, she just says, keep, please keep up the good work and understand what an impact you're having on, on people like her. And see, that's what to me is what it's about. That's what it to me, that, that to me is what it's about. If, um, I keep, I've said this several times about letting your light shine. And I don't know exactly how different people would translate that, but I, uh, I heard a message a while back about letting your light shine and be a light in, in a world of darkness. And so I kind of feel like if the videos can be a light for you, you know, kind of in a figurative way, if the videos can be a light for you amidst all of that darkness, in this situation, she's lost a lot of her loved ones. In the other situation earlier, there's a lady who's struggling through her depression. Someone else has lots of pain. And so all three of these different folks have talked about how the videos have helped them. And so I, I like to think that the, there's a light. The videos are a light that can kind of give you a temporary escape from whatever you're going through. And... And that makes it worth the, the time that we do this. It makes it worth all of the time it takes to edit and upload. Knowing that you're helping somebody. And it's a way, it, seriously, I'm going to say this, and I hope you understand what I mean by this. It's a way for me to quantify my life. Because now that I'm not teaching and working full time, I need something. I need a way to quantify that what I'm doing with my days is not all for naught. And so it, it, it makes me feel good knowing that there's somebody who needs tomorrow's video. And I know Jake feels the same way. I know for a fact Jamie does. Ellie, my dad, it makes us feel good to know that someone needs these videos. And they, they look, they're looking forward today to, to tomorrow's video. And so that's why we continue to make them. So thank you. This here says to Lester Morrow. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Uh, Jake, what is this? Uh, 
Is well, this going to chicken? It said for you, right? So you better put it on. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you put on all these I, other shirts. I don't know what it is, is Jake. It's... <laughs> Oh, is that Look, a deadly sauce? There's little buttons right Carter there. Carter could wear it, maybe. Uh, okay, I don't know what it is. Is there a note? I hope. Okay, there's a note. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> you Woo! I love your videos. I watch them every day. They always make my day. I, I loved when you had Journey. When she passed away, I cried a lot. So I asked my, I asked my grandmother to make these pot holders and towel in memory of her. Oh. oh, those aren't clothes at all. Guys, you can't send a man stuff like this and <laughs> us know what to do with it. Jamie would probably know. Oh, look at these pot holders. Like, she would have known immediately. Jamie would have known immediately. Listen to this, Jake. I'm not, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. I was just talking about being a light in the dark world, okay? Yeah. And if this, lo and behold, doesn't say this. Journey was a light in the sky of hope. Boy. Another one? <laughs> yeah, thank God it's only 70 degrees today. Carl, the biggest little. Oh, Carl. Man, Carl is really coming out good today. Jake, you know what was funny? What I talked about last time. Has your mom ever told you always make sure you're wearing clean underwear in case you have a car accident and the ambulance has to get you or whatever? No, you never heard that? I don't wear underwear. People call me out in my videos all the time. All right, that's a little bit too much information there, Jake. Um, my mom always told us to always have clean underwear. And she says, in case you have an accident and the animal has to come work on you, you don't want to be wearing... I don't know why my mom would have even told us that because there should be a lot of reasons to wear clean underwear besides that one. But uh, I thought it was kind of funny because if I end up having a heart attack and the ambulance comes... And they got to, like, put a defibrillator on me, you know, to wake me up. Well, yeah, now they're going to have a hard time. No, they're going to be like, you know, they have these emergency scissors, right? They're yeah. going to be like, zoop, off comes one shirt. Zoop, 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 And they're going to see zoop. a giant ostrich on and every And then they're going to see Lester, Carl, Lester, hey, Lester, and your Longhorn Lester. They'll be like, what in the world's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Listen, I would die. I would lay there and die all because of all the shirts I was wearing. <laughs> Uh, and here's the last one. This is almost the last gift. Oh, okay. Carl has made my... Okay. I know exactly who this is from because we've been talking about it. She sent me a picture uh, to the email. Carl has made my... <laughs> I can't even say that on the video. You can read it yourself. I will not say that on the video because... This time of year, there's classrooms that, uh, oh my God, Jake, what? this is funny. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to tell you this. Oh. Um, so Jamie goes to Walmart in Cleveland. I told you this yesterday. Oh, yeah. Jamie goes to Walmart in Cleveland. That's the nearest Walmart. And it's morning. It's early because she had gone to work out. So it was very early. And when she went to the electronic department, there was an I'm a Survivor video on all the TVs. You know how they have like 10 TVs turned on? And the lady who worked there, she loved I'm a Survivor videos. And they were playing it at Walmart. And uh, she came home and told me. And I was so embarrassed. Because it, so here's why I was embarrassed. Poor Skippy. Hey, get Tom, where's your Tom is Tom, so mean. Stop it. Stop. Oh, no, there's more string. Oh, no, there's not. Yes, there is. <laughs> okay, he's free. Tom is a really mean duck. He's Adam and Steve's buddy, but he is so mean. Uh, anyway, I was, it made me think to myself, if people at Walmart come in there to shop for electronics or whatever, and they're seeing these videos, it embarrassed me to know how many people are saying, oh, my God, it's okay if you know who we are. Yeah. If you know who we are and you found the page through something, then that's okay because you know we're goof-offs and, and we do s funny stuff. But if you don't know who we are, you're just a casual shopper and you come across the electronic and you see an I'm a Survivor video playing. They're just going to tell them what people think what, about Yeah, us. what do you, you know, you're probably thinking of some kind of a, what are you 
Why are these guys putting on football gear and going out there with an ostrich? What are they doing? Yeah, I know. And then if we say a bad word or something. Yeah. So it's it's nerve wracking. Okay, I got two more and I'm done, I promise. And I'll come help you, Jake. I poor Jake, he's worked so hard by himself oh, today. Now, He's almost done now. This comes to Lester Morrow. <laughs> That's not from I'm a Survivor, guys. That, this is actually the tags to my boat. The license and the tags to my boat. That's funny. So I had to get the boat registered. <laughs> How funny is that? The license and the tags to my boat. I just put all those numbers across the side now that it's been re-registered. All right, so this is the last one. It says less tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure that's not from TxDOT, which is our Texas Department of Transportation. You got TxDOT Yes, it was just my boat registration information. Was it a ticket? No, Jake, no ticket. Okay, so this over here is a magazine, and it's called The Ultimate Guide to the Animal Mind. Ooh. Yes. You know what? I don't really need that because I can just, I mean, I can read animals, y'all. It takes me a while to realize what I'm reading. It's kind of like uh, you could watch a TV show in another language. A lot of our TV channels are in Spanish, so but I speak Spanish, so it's not the same. But even I could take, you can watch a TV show, and if you see pictures, you may not know what they're actually saying, but if you can see pictures going along with it, you can kind of like infer what they're saying. And so that's kind of how it is with the animals. I might not understand right off what an animal's doing, but over time by watching certain behaviors repeat itself in certain situations or scenarios, I'm beginning to understand more about the animal mind. So I'll be happy to read your bo the book and look through the magazine. Um, but, uh, I'm pretty keen on stuff like that. Sometimes I play dumb. Sometimes I play dumber than what I actually am, and I don't know why I would do that. I get it some blonde chicks can kind of play dumb because it's cute and sexy. Uh, not the situation here. Playing dumb is probably not cute and sexy for a man my age. Anyway, here we go. Dear Lester, I just wanted to share a little something with you that you might like to browse through when you have some quiet time in the evenings or whatever. I usually don't find too many magazines about animals other than dogs and cats. Uh, so I like this magazine. Animals, um, I especially like the way they tell us about their different behaviors. Um, and it just kind of goes on. It's a pretty lengthy card. So I'm just gonna skip through some of it. Uh, she talks about Journey and how she was happy she could live her best life. Um, she knows that when we can understand the animals, it helps them to feel better. And that does it, guys. When you understand an animal and what its needs are or what it doesn't want, uh, in some cases, it really makes an animal's life a whole lot better. Here's a quick example. Jake and I had a really hard time with Carl uh, allowing us into his pasture. And so we begin, at first, we butted heads a lot back and forth. But then we finally realized something. Why are we going to continually butt heads with Carl? Instead, that's not really giving Carl a, a happy a happy life, a happy home. So we, we've, we've tried to find ways to allow Carl to be Carl and us just kind of work around him, not force ourselves to agitate him, if you will. Uh, she talks about Jamie's babies, the, the, the feathered babies. And... Um, she also ends with saying that she's happy that Carl is a part of the Morrow family. Uh, and she's happy that we made that decision to bring Carl here. Uh, we did not base that on fear and in uncertainty. She goes, as many people would have. And yeah, because it was quite uh, scary when Carl, first, well, trying to load Carl that very first day was frightening. And I had my first doubts then. And I says, what am I getting myself into here? And 
So we took that leap of faith and it's worked out to where now the littles are so loved and so protected by Carl. Uh, this over here comes from Cheryl. I believe that says Cheryl. No, Chrissy. Uh, Chrissy, I cannot read the last name, but Chrissy, if that's you, thank you so very much. And uh, I will play around and look at this book magazine a little bit later. Well, guys, that's all I have. Uh, these other few things over here are boxes that go into the house. They're not for I'm a Survivor. They're just either to Jamie or some or for me. But they're not from you guys. So thank you very much for loving us and supporting us. Thank you for um, just giving help and give these babies their best life.